trying to make a video to describe to you the new air powered arrow firing creation that I recently came up with. Now this isn't a new idea. People have been doing this um, based on other air gun platforms. This is the first one I've seen done on a QB which makes it really nice because it's an inexpensive platform to begin with. And when you see the results I think you'll agree it's worth the effort. Anyway, uh, I'll explain exactly what we're going to be doing in just a minute. So what we've got here is a QB 78 air rifle that I bought had already been modified by a guy named Troy Manny. You've probably seen some of his posts on the yellow if you visit the yellow very often. Um, at this point, I go on to describe the hammer and cocking knob assembly as the bolt, which of course is incorrect. So this is a correction. What you're looking at is the hammer and cocking knob assembly. Basically what I've done is I've eliminated the bolt. I'm, I've just sealed it off so that the air comes through the transfer port and straight out behind this tube, which becomes the, uh, the launching tube. As it turns out, this is a conventional arrow, and the uh, crossbow bolts that I'm shooting are a near-perfect fit over that arrow. They just slip right on, like so, and engage like that. They will not slip off. This O-ring that I put in the front does two things. It raises the arrow just enough to make it so that I have minimal adjustments to do on the scope, because without that, the, the tube will actually touch the forward end of the air tube. So the arrow tube touches the air cylinder tube, so that causes the arrow to leave the, the gun at a much more pronounced downward angle. Could, couldn't adjust the scope enough to compensate, so what I did is I used the O-ring, and that also adds just enough friction so that the arrow stays in place. It works out quite well. At any rate, we're going to be firing at a distance of 30 yards. I'm going to be aiming at that bright orange dot there, which is rather small. I'll be doing this offhand, and I'm not the greatest shot in the world, so... Um, most of the aiming error will be me and not the gun. At any rate, keep watching. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here we are. We're zoomed into that group. Um, again, that's just offhand. I told you 30 yards. That was a mistake. It's actually a 20-yard range that I shot at the target at. Uh, 30 yards would have opened up a little bit. Again, probably more because of me than for any other reason. That was the first three shots on a 2,800 PSI fill. That's 2,800 PSI. First three shots. I should get about three more. We're going to do that right now, and I'm going to leave you zoomed in just like this. I think that might be even more interesting. At any rate, we're going to fire three more, and this will be the last three shots on that same fill. you probably noticed by the last shot, I've been noticing that uh, there's a difference in the way the gun sounds, and there is a little bit of elevation drop. Not enough to worry about at 20 yards. I, you may not even notice it at 30 yards. I was nosy. Uh, at any rate, uh, stay tuned and keep an eye out. These are the last three shots. Now, I, I know I shut the camera off in the meantime. I came down, I shut the camera back off. I walked over here, and uh, I don't know if you noticed, but the first shot had sunk completely through the target face, and the fletching was no longer visible. <coughs> so all I did is pull this arrow back out so you can see the fletching. I haven't moved any of the three shots. If you don't believe me, that's your prerogative, but I'm a, I assure you I'm not a liar, and this is where they hit. doesn't matter to me if you believe me or not, but that's what happened. At any rate, these three shots here are my last three of six out of the same 2,800 PSI fill. First two virtually touching. Last and final shot was a little bit low. I think I forecasted that before I made the shot. 
Um, I th that means we're getting five good shots right in the neighborhood of 300 feet per second. That's the same speed my crossbow shoots the same bolt. Um, so it's a perfectly viable hunting weapon. My crossbow certainly is, and I've taken a few deer with it. Unfortunately, I can't take any deer in, in the state of Rhode Island, which is where I live and where I hunt, because this is certainly not a legal hunting tool, at least not yet. Maybe somebody can change that in, in the near future. Uh, I wouldn't know whether to call this an air gun, a firearm, <laughs> or a piece of archery equipment, to be honest with you. So they're going to have some fun trying to figure that one out. But uh, at any rate, maybe someday I'll get a chance to take it out of state on a hog hunt. I think that would definitely prove that it's a viable hunting tool. I'm, I'm sure this thing would do a number on those. Um, next video, we're going to have her pretty up a little bit. We're going to shoot at different ranges. We're going to go maybe 20, 30, 50 yards, uh, maybe even further if this thing proves that it can do it. And I got a feeling, a very strong feeling, that it can do it based on this. The question is, can I do it? <laughs> at any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.